is Houston. Say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 3 of Skyrim Anniversary Edition on the Xbox Series X at the glorious 60 frames per second people. We are on our way to Whiterun. Before the storm is the quest, we need to go and tell the Jarl about dragons flying all over that place. And I just wanted to check what we need to upgrade the standard bow. A leather strips is all that we need to upgrade the bow to nine. And a steel ingot is all we need to do an ancient Nord bow. Ready? Okay. I didn't think I could do the ancient bow right now. Whatever you need. My spirit and is simple and strong. I can forge it. Yeah, steel, steel, and uh, yeah. I thought we had some strips left. You looking for, it? looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage? What you got in the way of ingots, my friend? Well, you've got some steel ingots. Take a. We'll take a steel ingot, and we'll take. Well, actually, I wouldn't mind buying all his leather, <laughs> as it happens. Uh, that's four fifty. That's two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Just take it every chance we can. As said at the end of the last part, uh, just making leather cuffs effectively is going to get your blacksmithing right up. So let's upgrade our bow. So we can upgrade that to ten, or we can upgrade that to nine. But well, I'm not really sure why the that is more expensive than the one below it. Oh, hang on. The weight of that bow is 12. That's only 7. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. Put weight nice and light. There's all sorts of benefits keeping your weight down at a percentage, isn't there? A certain percent. Oh, we can upgrade our axe with a steel ingot as well. Thirteen. Uh, okay, I need another steel ingot. Uh, do I? No, because we didn't use a steel ingot for the bow because we don't need it. Right, okay, fair enough. And let's do... Leather braces. Get that blacksmithing right up. Quick as we can. That's how you bet the best gear people. Blacksmithing. Another level up. Woohoo! Level up and ride your pony! Uh, no, but I'd like to sell you my blades. Wearers, please. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Fourteen leather braces. We get, uh, yeah, braces. We get uh, another hundred and twelve back for it. Marvelous. Right, we can get going. All right. Uh, actually, I didn't sell him my Nordic bow. Get rid of that. Looking to protect yourself? For all the way to what I to save. Never noticed that about the Nordic bow before. The weight's bloody... <laughs> it's almost double, isn't it? Aren't they, man? Uh, so we're going to sell that. Good day. And we're going to favour that. Right, people. Time to go to Whiterun. Run. 
Wow. Can't believe how smooth this game is. From the anniversary upgrade. It's gorgeous. Check it. Check it out. Stag. Heard an interesting bit of a interview with Todd Howard. And it's the first time I've ever heard him talk about it, but apparently it's his, a pet peeve of his is... Uh, is radial maps. You know the little mini-maps that come up on screen? And his reason for disliking them is because the minute there's a mini-map on the screen, he spend, or you will spend all of your time looking at that instead of looking at the world around you. Which is true and can be said of all the games really that I'm looking at mini-maps on. In the main part, I would say that the mini-maps that show you that you're unlocking blank area, like in Diablo and... Or well, certainly Diablo 2 and 3 and Titan Quest even. Where you can see that you're opening up or search gridding an area if you like. Um, I certainly think it's true of that. Uh, but it's interesting and, and they've gone with the compass idea at the top there. We've got north, east, west and you can see something's in the distance. But you're not necessarily clearing untreaded ground as it were. And it does. The more, I, the more I think about that part of the conversation that I was listening to him talk about, the more I, I get what he's meaning. And, and it is true. Absolutely. Let's go back to the path. I mean, I do now. I mean, the more I think about it, the more I, I realise that, you know, it's only rarely that I... I well... A fraction of the time that I glance up and look at the compass just to see if there's anything nearby. And if there is, I might head toward it, but I do spend most of my time wandering this land just looking at how beautiful it is. Wow, there's White Run. I've decided I'm not going to make notes of these outlying places. Pelagia Farm discovered. <laughs> well, I did try and help, but uh, for some reason my arrow didn't go anywhere. Hello. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. I tried. My bow misfunctioned. Ayla the Huntress. I think she's part of the uh, werewolf quest, if I remember rightly. Uh, you didn't look like you needed any. I tried my best. Huh. Another milk drinker crying about his effort. Glory only awaits those who triumph. And as companions, our glory must always be hard fought. Who are the companions? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Can I join? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. <clears throat> the old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Well, that really is a skill. Uh, he can look in my eyes and tell my worth. <laughs> Harvest cabbage, anyone? I don't think you actually get any XP for discovering places, do you? Now that's where we're going to fight the dragon over there. The first dragon. Let's get straight up to White Run, shall we? Can discover the stables. Oh, 
quite run stables discovered where you can buy horses of which we're not gonna do or steal to be fair I used a horse very briefly in a playthrough at one point and I kind of just got a bit fed up getting on and off the thing so I just ended up running everywhere oh hello oh yeah this is I think this is I think this is new sort of a little Khajiit encampment outside the city might be one of the free things that you get Let's see what they're saying. Resad. Fire is not a toy. A why is the what have I got for sale already read? I haven't picked that for his conversation before. I haven't met him before. I've heard you've been running into trouble along the road. It is all in this note. Balance of power started, all right. Right, well, I've definitely never come across that before. Uh, I'm curious about your homeland. Where I know that outside of Whiterun before, there was like a... There was like a caravan of Khajiit that would walk about the, the whole land, really, and you could discover them and chat to them. He could have been one of them and maybe replaced it with an actual set-up camp thing. Why sell your goods in Skyrim? An astute question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons and the war have scared many other traders away. But for those with courage, there is much profit to be made. I'm curious about your homeland. The Khajiit hail from a distant land called Elsewhere, bordered on the north by Cyrodiil, and the south by the glistening blue waters of the sea. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons where the sun shines warmly, always. There are cities so ancient, the sands have swallowed them whole. But now I will say no more, for I miss my home greatly. Whole cities underground and such like. Sounds like an awesome place to be having a Elder Scrolls 6, doesn't it? I have forgotten what it feels like. Elsewhere. Yes, I know just what you mean. Don't Mind you, is that, that um, I think uh, Elder Scrolls Online's already kind of been there, hasn't it? I think my, one of the other Elder Scrolls might have been there as well. Kayla. The longer we travel the roads of Skyrim, the more empty I'm not gonna have enough money for her, I don't think. Kayla, you're breaking my heart. Can you train me to sneak, go oh baby? They'll never see you coming. 210 gold. Ooh. Sure, why not? I'll go on them. <laughs> well, uh, we're just a bit shy of being able to do another one. Hopefully, she'll stick around. She's not left much money for anything else, but you know. Ma Rundro Joe. The road makes this one weary. Maram Pussam Boots. Need something? Tamba. All right, in we go. Should we have a save before we keep cracking? Keep cracking on. Guard in the tower. Lilith Maiden Loom. Come to chat with the old woman. Do you do your good deed for the day? Let's put our things up. Oh, hello. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Nice. 
do the persuade ones, you get your speech increased, don't you? Wide run discovered. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. Oh, hello. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? Huh. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Grey Mane or Battleborn? Eh, uh, what now? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Grey Mane or Battleborn? I don't know what you're asking. New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Grey Manes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again Grey Mane or Battleborn? Well, I'm not picking sides. Sooner or later, we all have to choose a side. Long live the Empire. Oh, where did she go? She must have gone indoors. I don't claim... Adriana Avenici. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. I haven't met him yet. But I will, if you give me a little quest to go up there. What can you tell me about Whiterun? Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. <clears throat> the city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker. Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. What you got for sale? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Bit of both. Oh, she's got some magical bows going on. Hunting bow of chills. Imperial bow of sparks. Steel arrows. No point in buying anything at the moment, to be fair. I was just going to sell her some of my stuff if there was anything I didn't want to be hanging on to. <clears throat> I think we got rid of most stuff, though, that we were... Yeah, it'd be miscellaneous, if anything. Yeah. Stay sharp. Ulf Bereth Warbear. <laughs> Got small weapons as well as big. Maces, daggers, that sort of thing. This is a handy place, this, because you've got several people you can sell all your bits to, rather than a limitation of the one or whatever. That music, though. I was listening to uh, the celebratory concert for the 10th anniversary today on YouTube. It's about an hour long, and it was just stunning. London, I think it's the London Philharmonic Orchestra, you know what I'm trying to say. Philharmonic Orchestra. Who forges armors and armor? Adrian at her forge, just outside. The place is named after her. War Maidens. It's a childhood nickname given by her father. What I hear, she was playing with swords even back then. Anyway, our wares are strong and the price is fair. What else matters? Who's in charge of Whiterun? That'll be the Jarl, Balwulf the Greater. He's an honorable enough man. Never done wrong by me or my kin. Things are tough for him now, I'd wager. What with the fighting and the dragons. But Balgroof's a tough old Nord. He can handle it. What you got? The finest weapons and armor. Yeah, he's got similar stuff to her, I think. Certainly on the off. What was that on there? Increase heavy armor score by 15 points. 
Right, that's enough of that chit-chatting. Let's go up to see the Yarl, I think. <laughs> the instantaneous going in and out of buildings is glorious. Glorious. Back in the day on the PS3 and what have you, you sat there for 30 seconds every time you, <laughs> you opened and closed the door. It was like, ah! Well, we've got to go and see him, haven't we? Bella Thor. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. Oh, I might have it stored away. Everything's for sale, my friend. <laughs> Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. <laughs> Sure, there's laws against that, Bella thought. How's uh, no, yeah, how's business? Interesting, to say the least. What with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some uh, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need. And it's worth every scepter. What brings a Breton to Skyrim? Says me. It's obvious. Why, the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Right, well, you're good with the customers. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Well, we're going to hang on to the nexus and stuff because we might be able to do something with them. We're going to try and collapse those at the arcane table. And that's fine. What happened to the poisons and stuff that I've picked up? Did I sell them to somebody? Must have done. Hang on to them for now. Well, that or Oric Calcum, or whatever it's called, or Chalcum <laughs> ingot, is probably not going to get used for a long time. Let's get rid of it. Everything else we'll hang on to for a bit, I think. Yeah, I think we, I think we did get rid of a lot of gems and stuff to the Chappie and Riverwood, didn't we? The golden claw chap. Nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son chose his side and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son still lives, I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborns, where is he? Where are you holding my four out? <laughs> Do you believe this old hag? Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, Cow. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloaked traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, Father. There's nothing more to be said here. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. And how can you be sure? They're in with the Imperials. They know it, too. And yet they lie to my very face. How can you be sure he's alive? I just... I just know it. I could feel it in my heart. You have to believe me. Please visit me at my home. I can tell you the whole story. Missing in action? Right, okay. Yes. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Lady, could you spare a coin? Uh, no. The last time I lent coin to children, they ended up living in my house. <laughs> I had to bring them gifts every time I came home. Right, should we go and uh, 
Hmm. We could go and sort Frelia out first, because it will just activate the quest, and then we'll have it for whenever we're ready. I think, yeah, I think she asks us to go sneaking about the Battleborn's house, doesn't she, or something like that. <laughs> and I am going to save it before I go in as well. The amount of times you go in and they go, what are you doing here? It's like, you bloody asked me to come in and then they hit you with bloody axe. Welcome to our home. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Avrostein, put that down. She's yeah. here to help us find Thorold. You better be putting it down. Spying for the Battleborn. This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here. I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, mother. So, you're here to help? <laughs> How many grey mains and battleborns is there? Avolstein. Avolstein Levine. Yes, what can I do? I'm not even sure what's going on. My brother Thorald, he was fighting for the Stormcloaks and went missing. Everyone assumes he's dead. But he's not, I just know it. The Imperials captured him and they're holding him someplace. The Battleborns know where. I'd go and search their house for proof, but they want me to. I'd be captured and then we'll never know what happened to him. So I need someone to find that proof for me. Find evidence of Thorald's fate. What do you? Uh, what sort of proof do you need? Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. Uh, why do you think the Battleborns are involved? The Battleborns. The Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. Okie doke. So... Yeah, we've still got the main quest on at the minute. Balance of power, find evidence of Thrall's blah. Right, okay, we'll do... Because uh... I think, once I find the evidence, they asked they ask me to go off and find him. Let's crack on with the main quest for now. Let's get our dragon shiz going, people. Dragon! Damn those great mates to improve. They want to back the storm close and tell the captain's comments. Dragon's reach! Wow. I've always loved this building as well. Fantastic. It looks incredible now. My lord, please. This is no time for rash action. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgra is not receiving visitors. Calm down, Irileth. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Gerda sent me from uh, Riverward is in danger. Uh, which one's best? As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. 
So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. A dragon has destroyed Helgen. I was told to give the message directed to the Jarl. Whatever you have to say to the Jarl, you can say to me. I'm right, starting dude. to think... I want to hear what she has to say. Yeah, man. I don't want to speak to the monkey. I want to speak to the organ grinder. What's this about Riverwood being in danger? A dragon destroyed Helgen. Gerda is afraid Riverwood is next. Gerda owns the lumber mill, if I'm not mistaken. Pillar of the community, not prone to flights of fancy. And you're sure Helgen was destroyed by a dragon? This wasn't some Stormcloak raid gone wrong? I should know. I was about to get my head lopped off. Yes, I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to cut off my head. I was there. I saw the dragon burn Helgen to the ground. By Ismir, Ireleth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the Earl of Falkirk will in the view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my young. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There nice. Is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Something tells me I've already done it, my friend. Dragonstone. I have it in my possession. I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Alright, where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? <laughs> I'll give you a slap. ...stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Oh, do you mean this old thing? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual brutes they are foists on me. Yep. Dragon Rising has started. Uh, what about my reward? I got you the Dragonstone, what next? What about my reward? You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. Yeah, okay. It's like that, is it? Right. Oh. Somebody shouted Farangar. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. What? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. 
If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Oh, they've gone upstairs. So, Yurileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Just give me a, uh, just give me a little second here. I'm just going to try and bring the music volume down a little bit. I feel like it's drowning out the voices a wee bit, if I can. Oh, I could take the voices up, actually. That's interesting. Okay. Should we see what that sounds like first before we drop it? Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. <laughs> and I haven't forgotten experience of running away. For me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armor. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of caution. <laughs> you don't look like the soul of caution. You look like the soul of warrior. Fight! I envy you the chance to see this dragon up close. Did you come to White Run to discuss the ongoing hostilities? Right, just before we go any further, let's just get rid of these bits of... Uh... To enchant an item, you must know an enchantment. And have a filled soul gem to empower the enchantment. Enchantments can uh, enchantments are learned by. Yes, we know. So disenchant, and we've got. Ooh, studded armor of minus squire increases light armor score by twelve points. Well, we're putting that on. He must have just given us that actually, and that's part of the reason I think I built the hide armor because I seem to recall getting that quite early on. I envy you. So let us learn the ability of magicka. Increase your magicka by thirty. Fortify Magicka, nice. Ooh, hello. Might get ourselves a little level up here. And Magicka regenerates 50% faster. Nice. Whoa, level up a Raja Pony. <laughs> it's a bit of an angrier level up in Skyrim, isn't it? <laughs> right. Let's have a look at our level ups then. Right, well, uh, yeah, we could do one more stamina. Keep that in balance with our magic up. Mm. And I feel like I've missed out on a destruction one, actually. Uh, I feel like there's one that doubles the power of fire. Augmented flames, yeah. Fire spells do 25% more damage. Ah, we need, we need level 30 for that. Right, okay. Fair enough. Get that soon enough. So, we've got... We've done alteration first one, if I remember rightly. Yes, we have. We need 25 for apprentice. Alteration, enchanting, 
smithing. Oh, we've got. Oh, hello. Can't swear. Don't do that yet. A can create steel armor and weapons at forges and improve them twice as much. I always forget which way round I want to go on this thing. The dragon armor is generally where I end up. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, advanced armors. Yeah, scale and plate armor. Requires 50, so we've got a long way to go before we can get up there, but I think that's the way we'll go. Magical weapons and armor at 60. So, yeah, I tend to go this way. Elven, which is light. And then that can be light as well. It's a long way around to the old dragon armor. Requires level 100 as well, so we've got a fair bit of... <laughs> got a lot of, lot of blacksmithing to do before we get that far. Uh, heavy armor, block, two-handed, one-handed. Right, here we go. <clears throat> so, actually we can get the next arms and want. Or, what was the other one we wanted? Light armor, wasn't it? Well, if I'm about to put the armor on that, that ups our light armor anyway, I think that's what it was doing. I think I'm going to go for the one-handed. Because that's 40% more damage on it. Armsman. Yeah, one-handed. Absolutely. Go for it. Ooh. Nice. I think also we might some point very early on go for conjuration first one novice conjuration for half magicka at some point because i will buy a book that lets us conjure an atronach right oh hello we can put our armor on as well i think the only downside is the armor might have the same might not have the same protection on it that there eh, the hell did i get that from Somebody must have given me that, I'm sure. So that's 25 armor. Oh, it is. It's better. That's hide armor. And that's studded armor of the minor squire. Nice. Six weight. So it weighs a little bit more. Yeah, so that's studded armor, isn't it? As opposed to hide. Uh, maybe it was the studded armor I made then earlier on. Anyway, let's equip it. Nice. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? So that's giving us increased light armor skill by 12 points. That's awesome. Just look at the light armor in here just to see... Yeah, there it is, look. It's gone up to 30. It's awesome. <laughs> Taking it from 18 to 30. Nice. Right. Let's go fight a dragon. Wow. It, do, it just looks incredible, doesn't it? Definitely crisped up the old uh, graphical bits as well. Better assets. And a lot of. Uh, you can tell it all coming together a lot crisper than it used to. On top of the 60 FPS, which is just glorious. We'll see how the 60 FPS holds up against this dragon actually because there was a few bits of this dragon fight where the smoke and fire kicked in where it got a bit sticky we'll see how it holds up in this evening I'm actually quite surprised that I didn't get uh, vampires and stuff approaching me the minute I walked in at Whiterun which is <laughs> what used to happen once the uh, DLC was all added, which should be part of this already. You just activate it almost immediately and you just get 
attacked by vampires constantly. Well, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be using my bow down here and not my axe. Pretty sure we get a cool axe off of the Yarl as well after we do this. Oh, hello. I think we'll have a save, though. Look at the massive moon coming through the clouds. Brilliant. See the torches in the no darkness. Any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad. We've got to figure out what happened, and if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere. Spread out. <clears throat> Look for survivors. We need to know what we're dealing with. Well, this is where it got a bit uh, sticky. And it is, oh, I mean, that is smooth as anything. When I used to I'd pan around this, these flames and smoke, it would just screen tear or get really sticky on the PS5 as well as the, the Series X. Awesome. Great job they've done with it. Here he comes. Oh, crap. And make every arrow count. Oh, he's coming. Run. See if we can get it from up here. There he is. Oh, hello. You can go for you on these stairs as it happens. Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> Could have gone for me there. Big style. God damn it. <laughs> Couldn't have picked a more awkward spot. Ow. Might have to go downstairs. He's not uh, not behaving himself. Where's he gone? They're all looking out. Oh, there he is. is that all got? It's come to ground. Whoa, hello. Christ, you're getting up close and personal view down here on the ground. Land, you big badger. Ow. 
าวเอาโอ้ here he goes Love this. Word of power learned. Force, unrelenting force. Steel arrows, great sword, dragon bones. Don't need a guard helmet. Well, it's worth some coin, I suppose. And we'll use the shout menu before they start talking to us. Shouts. All right, don't have to. Uh, Unrelenting force. We just seem to get. Actually, we don't have to use our dragon salter thing yet, do we? Because we've actually, yeah, so we can equip it and we can favorite it. That's interesting. Oh, was it? No, hang on a minute. Unrelenting Force, not the one we got when we went into Bleakfall Barrow. I think, wasn't it? So it seems to have just, uh, yeah, it has. It's used my one Dragon Soul to sort that out, I think, by nature. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I think you may be right. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training. The way the dragons do. Dragonborn. Okay. What are you talking about? Force! That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septim himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septim killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irla? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irla. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't a norm. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting what you just did. Must be. You really are dragonborn, then. It seems that way, my friend. Right. We can crack on now. That was the hairiest fight I've ever been in, and I've been in more than a few. <laughs> I don't know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. You better get back to White Run right away. Yarl Barbara will want to know what happened here. Yes, I think he will. I think you're right. Well, that's outstanding. That look at that. How smooth it is around all those flames and smoke. Bloody brilliant people. Best the game's ever played and looked, in my opinion. Professional opinion. Uh, Western Watchtower, that's where we were.
And with the glory of uh, fast travel, we can go straight back to... Ah, I thought you could go straight back to Dragon's Reach. Maybe you can only do it after this quest. Annoying! Ah, hang on, these guys give you a quest. All we ask is... It's the Greybeards calling me. We will be back. This need something? Who are you looking for? A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. <clears throat> Okie doke. We will find her eventually. Uh, in my time of need. I nearly typed down in my time of mead there. <laughs> in my time of mead and beer. That's our house once we buy it. Can you break into Bree's home? I don't think you can. No. The lock cannot be picked, it requires the key. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. What were you two arguing about? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Uh, do you need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. Or me. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Okay. Amran's family sword. One hand training? I'd like that actually, but I've not got any money left, I don't think. I can take one. You come back and look for you later, my friend. You're not from Skyrim, are you? No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. <clears throat> if you find that sword, please. Uh, yes, I'll bring it to you, my friend. Don't worry. Uh, is that a side quest? That one is it. Yeah. By Izmir, you did it. You killed the dragon. Nay, worse than nothing. The Imperial Machine enforces the will of the Talmor against its own! You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Not so much. I just wanted to know what they were bleating on about. Heemsker, whatever your name is. Why was Talos worship outlawed? Because the so-called Emperor is a coward. That's right. I said coward. Oh, yes. He agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordat. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here, and in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. Aren't you worried you'll be arrested? <laughs> Let them come. I have no fear. 
For Talos is my ally, and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. His voice in my throat. Look at a spectacular monument next to us. What, what can you tell me about Talos? Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of a voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Scepter. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. All right, Tiber Septum, is that not uh, Patrick Stewart? <laughs> From Oblivion, I'm pretty sure it is, isn't it? I'm not getting confused there. Does that mean that's a monument to him there, then? Cool. Right. I think we get an axe and a companion. Lydia! Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. Yeah, well, some of us have been busy, mate. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. Turns out I may be something called a Dragonborn. I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. Um, yeah, the Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Turns out I may be something called a Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Way of the Voice. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes at the throat of the world. Bit of a journey up there. What do these grey bears want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune. Or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nor nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. The mad old monks. You, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once, 
Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business. Nice. I'm a Thane. There's Lydia waiting down there for us. Yes, my lord. A weapons. Yeah, axe of white run. There we go. Target takes five points of shock damage and half as much magic of damage. Nice. Get that favorited. Get that on. And unfavorite that one. Well, that's got 15 on it, right enough. That's got 14, but makes up for it in electrics. Got a few bits we can sell, right enough. I serve Jarl Balgrub as steward. What's it mean to be Dragonborn? The only thing I remember is the old story of Tiber Septum being called Dragonborn by the Nords before they switched sides and joined the Empire. No doubt those greybeards up at High Rothgar will talk your ear off about it. Who are the greybeards? Near as I can tell, a bunch of ancient Nord hermits who live on top of a mountain. Never heard of them talking to anybody before. If they really do want to talk to you, you'd better go find out what they want. You never know. I'm looking for work. Got any leads? The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Kill the bandit leader located at Redoran's Retreat. Oh, <laughs> just drop me notes while I'm uh, on with it, people. Bear with me. Right, here we go. Why is it called Dragon's Reach? It's an old tale, but well known to those of us who serve in the keep. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords, Olaf One-Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor, with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex. And so, from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. Very good. Right, that'll leave for now. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. I'll come back and speak to you when I've got enough money for a house. Let's speak to... Farangar. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me, I prefer my books and my spells. What do you know about dragon shouts? Well, I only know what I've heard in the old tales. Shouting is an ancient form of magic, the use of one's voice to project their power. If you can shout, you need to go see the Greybeards. They'll know what to do. What is? What's it mean to be dragonborn? I don't know much. Only the old tales about the ancient heroes who would use the voice to defeat the enemies of Skyrim. They say the emperors used to be dragonborn, but that all ended when Martin died during the Oblivion Crisis. The Greybeards can tell you much more than I can. They're the masters of the way of the voice, and taught Tiber Septim himself. Uh, how do you enchant weapons and armor? Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. 
The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that, too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. And are you the only wizard in Whiterun? I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. I'll deliver the salts for you. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. <laughs> Again, you're going to get a slap. Uh... Jeez, there's a lot of questions in him. Uh, where can I learn about magic? A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. Very well. Uh, have you encountered any dragons? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf when I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. Do you have allegiance to the Imperials? If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Yeah, they're boring me as well, to be fair. Uh, what have you got for sale? The dragons reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. What are the duties of the court wizard? I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the Hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. <laughs> Stop cutting me off, dude. I need to see what you've got for sale. Take a look. Uh... Oh, he can't buy the sword, can he? Right, okay. You know, if you I feel like I can enchant uh, an item. Mage's College in Winterhold. Uh, we don't want to disenchant anything. Uh, enchantment, enchantment. So, I could try enchanting a silver ring uh, with magic regen. And a petty soul gem. <laughs> Magicka regenerates 1% faster. That's not going to be of much use, is it? But as we've only got a petty soul gem, let's do one anyway. A decent enchantment, but keep studying. You've only scratched the surface. Well, I think you're more than right, my friend. Hey. Might as well sell him that ring. There's really no point to wearing it, I wouldn't have thought. Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. <laughs> Only put an extra three value on it. Right, let's go. Let's go and, uh, well, as it happens, we're well over the hour mark. So, I think what we'll do is we shall go down the stairs and meet Lydia in the next part and we shall take our trusty companion with us. She's a beast, is Lydia. And uh, we'll probably just head toward the Greybeards, I think, straight away. Get that part done. Some good, good bits to see and some beautiful uh, snowy peaks to see on that journey as well. Build up a bit of coin while we're on the way and discover new things. Thoroughly enjoying this, actually. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Skyrim Anniversary Edition on the Xbox Series X. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.